So I'm supposed to be working on my Hackintosh. I got all the parts in and it's time for me to start doing the assembly. But I kind of put it on the back burner because I heard Apple was coming out with a new Mac Pro. And I want to see if that was more affordable to get versus just building my own Hackintosh. And from what I saw, Apple has finally convinced me that I need to go my way. So Apple has a way of pricing things in a way that if you get the base model, it's not going to suit you. So you definitely want to do the next level up because it's going to be stripped down. So it's going to lack a few features that you would like to have in the next model up. So what end up happening is the fact that you just decide to spend the extra money to get what you really want. So they decide to come out with this new Mac Pro and they basically strip it down to where you have to spend the extra money to really get what you want. And for the starting price of $6,000 for what comes in the box, it's not worth even getting that system. You're better off taking that $6,000 and put it in an iMac Pro. Because even at a base level, you're still getting more in that system than what Apple is giving you starting off with, with this new Mac Pro. So my mind is definitely made up now. I am not going that route. I am definitely going to start building my Hackintosh. Because I do have all the parts in, but like I said, I was kind of holding out to see if it would be better to just go with this new Mac Pro if the price was reasonable. I cannot see any professional person going out and buying that base model for the specs that's inside that box and think they're gonna get real work done. They're really making this system for the real professionals. People will make millions of dollars and have the money to spare to buy the system because they can actually max this thing out the way they really want it and they don't mind spending that money because anybody below that level is not gonna spend 10, 15, 20,000 or more on a computer. And I understand Apple has made it where you can swap out parts and upgrade things inside of there, but you can do that in an average PC computer. Cause you can go out and buy a, a new power supply. You can buy upgraded graphic card and all this stuff. It just seems kind of ridiculously high for a computer. And then, like I said, they have the nerve to sell you a substandard starting point computer at $6,000. If I'm spending $6,000, I want a little bit more than what they're offering inside that computer. Can I get a flash drive with at least a terabyte? No, they're giving you 256. My computer right now, that's about seven years old. Although it's got a less power processor than the new Mac Pro, has 32 gigs of memory, terabyte SSD drive, but Apple is only giving you a 256 gigabyte SSD card and you're giving them $6,000. It's kind of ridiculous. They could at least give you a terabyte, maybe even two terabytes. So what are you really paying for for $6,000? That fancy aluminum case? I would rather a system that has more on the inside and an ugly case on the outside. For me to spend $6,000 on it as a starting point. Anyway, that's enough of that because I know I'm not going to get the new Mac Pro. So it doesn't make sense to keep talking about it, complaining about it. Might as well just move on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not done yet. I forgot to talk about the display. Now, they're selling the display for $5,000. That's the starting price. 6K. Now, the system is capable of editing 8K videos, but they want to give you a 6K display. Why not bump it up to 8K to make the system and the display to be in sync? 6K display, 8K editing. That doesn't really match right there. So whatever you're editing at 8K, you're not going to see the same result on the display. That's number one. Number two, the stand for that display is $1,000. Of course, we already know all monitors come with a stand, whether you want to use it or not. Some people like to Vista mount their monitor like I do. But at least I know the stand for the monitor is in the box in case I want to use the monitor for something else. So these are the ways that Apple nickel and dime you. You know, if you want the tablet, you got to buy the pen separate. If you want the phone, you got to buy the supercharger separate. Everything is a little separate deal. I'm thinking 5000 for the monitor, right? Why not toss that stand in? I mean, really, you're going to spend that much for a monitor and you can't get a stand to go with it? So yes, it's kind of ridiculous. So if you get that base model, Mac Pro, you're spending $6,000. Then if you decide to get that fancy display, that's another $5,000. You're up to 11 right now. And don't forget that stand if you decide you want that stand to. 
that's another thousand dollars. You put those two together, you're up to twelve thousand dollars. So can you imagine what it's going to be like if you decide to move up the ladder? What if you move all the way up to the top? What is the cost of that system right there with all the bells and whistles? Probably cost as much as probably fifty thousand dollars. Who knows? This thing I think support up to six display if you have it all spec'd out. Six display on six stands. Then again, if you buy that much, maybe Apple will give you a discount. I doubt it, but who knows? Maybe they cut your deal. But that's ridiculous. This is not made for the consumer. This is not even made for semi-pro. This is for people that own studios like uh, Universal Studios and Paramount, places like that. This is their kind of system money. So it's time for me to start getting my Hagitosh workstation project going. So that's what I'll be doing because I can't believe I wasted my time waiting for this Mac Pro to realize that the starting configuration is not even worth the price that they're selling it for. So stay tuned to the channel because it's time to get this Hackintosh project going. And I will have some upcoming videos coming very soon. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you for taking the time for watching it. I look forward to see you next time. Have a good one.